Hello and welcome to Team Fortress TV. This is Heiss, Toss and John. No, it's not Heiss, he bailed on us. It's me, Bad Marble. We're here for the ETF 2 Season 18, powered by TT Esports Premiership Week 4 fixture. It is going to be Phoenix Esports by Simmeray.com versus ggwellplayed.pro. It's going to be Turbine. It's going to be Process. Are you hyped, Kratos? Oh, definitely, man. Like, uh, we saw some Turbine last week. No, it was last week already. So I'm quite interesting how they will do against Phoenix now. Like, we saw one Russian team, which is really aggressive, and actually Highlander team. And now we see Phoenix Esport with some smart players. And it seems like Salmon is playing. Oh, Salmon? Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, Salmon is actually coming back to the game. This is crazy. Where's Clara then? He's standing in for Clara, I guess. I don't see him on the server. Yeah, it looks like it. What's the inside German scoop? Where is Clara? Oh, I didn't hear anything about it. He's Oh, he tacked off, so maybe they replaced him with Salmon. Who knows? That's, uh, that's cold, man. That's ice cold. I missed all the turbine action so far. I was away getting drunk in Spain for a week, but uh, this map, I take full credit for it being an ETFL season 8, as I said on some random forum thread. Turbine is good. And then it got added a, a month or two later, or a few weeks later, so you know what? If you don't like Turbine, go fuck yourself. Blame me for it, but this <laughs> is the best map in TF2. Deal with it. What do you feel about uh, Turbine yourself, man? Oh, yeah, I had some good experience with Turbines already. Like We played the Turbine Cup, and we did pretty well, actually. We were in the finals and lost against uh, the other Russian team of the Prem. Oh, 425? Yeah, it was 425. But actually, this map is quite fun to play, in my opinion. I predicted it to be 8, but <laughs> apparently it's pretty good. It's fun to play and fun to watch. I think we should get it played at uh, A52, you know, just to fuck with the Americans, so we have like some sort of <laughs> advantage there. But uh, I see 12 players on the server, and I think they are going to go live very soon. So uh, brace yourselves, guys. This is it. This is Turbine. It's etf 2 Season 18 action, and I'm watching GDK roll out to the middle. He's done a little hot there. Is he going to jump? No, he's just going to sit and spam pipes. And uh, he has done a lot of damage to the combo there. Skeed's already half health. He's doing the smart thing by staying towards that door. Oh, Rocket sails past him. Skeed survives, but Rib has gone down here to Rico. Dakin's attempt at aggression shut down too by GF18. Kalari's going to find Atomic, though. That's, that's Scout down right now. As GG well played seem to be crumbling. They're just falling back towards that door. They've managed to get out with just GDK and White Bull. I'm not sure if that's their strategy for every mid, but Medic and Demo have survived here, Kratos. Can they hold the flag? Oh, that's going to be tough, man. Like... Well, we saw one middle waters just went all the way through and went for the intelligence and can cap it once. Let's see if they can cap it twice. Oh, uh, G, G were played already in the intelligent room and almost have the overcharge. They can probably defend it one more time, but it's 1 0 for Phoenix already. And they are controlling the middle, which is a, a good advantage already. Let's see if they just turtle, if they're gonna try and go for a play there. Did just Waters cap go it. straight for the flag, or did he did he take part in the fight and then go for the flag? Uh, I guess he stand for like first few seconds of the fight and then just went through. And they have a pick there on Shadowburn, who was just at, in front of the spawn gate. So let's see, it's gonna be interesting. Kilari is inside the inside the lift there. But it's sticked up. Oh, let's see, are uh, he gonna go down as well? Oh, this push from Phoenix is uh, looking. Good on main actually, there's Salmon gets the shotgun frag onto Forsaken, Forsaken dropped right there by White Glow. Uber fight but already thinks we're looking good, they've bullied the Russians back, but there's a sky above, Regal comes down, shuts oh. down the capper, GF18, two shots, and he's dead. But still Phoenix will be able to get it, but it slowed them down a little bit, look at the rotation here from GG, well played, they're all the way on middle already, and now they have to, it looks like Phoenix is going to have to go through four blue players here to try and get the intel out, but they're trapped in banana. And GDK's pumping out the damage here. There's Atomic cleaning up the frag on me. He's going to come around behind the medic. It's going to be a massive sandwich here, Kratos. Oh, what is just walking through all the spam and just surviving this with 116 HP. So he barely take any damage and just capping it off there. That's <laughs> a heavy battle in the middle. Oh. Forsaken decides to roll a heavy class, but GF18 did too. <laughs> Somehow he read that one. And uh, Phoenix, I've got a second cap, but... Uh, this, where's the intel? Right now, both intels are back at home right now, but Phoenix in a commanding position here, although they did lose Skeej. Uh, they will be at a disadvantage here, but they can always do the 
<laughs> little run arounds. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Like, GG, well played, did a really good job there, just rotating through the middle and then try to cut off Fennec there on the middle and fight them. But Walters just sneaked all the way through every spam there and just surviving this and managed to cap this off. But we see a new advantage now for GG well played, so they should be able to push the intelligence room with that. They're running the heavy, heavy with Forsaken. Or Oh, the Uber oh. got popped really early though. This is uh, interesting, like, this map is all about speed and being able to rotate quickly and it chase down frags, but like with this heavy, that Uber only got one frag and that was just somebody being out of position. Uh, or Simon died as well, what am I talking about? But look at this! Kalari's throwing away frags here, as his team can't even make it out on middle, despite the fact that they're playing against the big fat man. They've just decided to give it up off the back of that two-man disadvantage, so they are going to go back to just playing the the low risk strategy here, they're gonna go back to the flag room and give that one cap up. They have a little advantage here, but it's been a while, so uh, Skeej is sort of playing to the clock here. I think he knows it, he wants to bring his scouts in, in fact. He's gonna go in with two scouts here, and Uber for me, and to try and get some frags. He has popped off, GF18's pretty weak. They're trying to chase down any frag whatsoever, they've managed to isolate for sake, and he knows his fate has been sealed. He's gonna give up the ghost there, he's gonna go down. Uh, but right now, GG well played, are trying to send players, and Shadowburn gets absolutely smashed in the face there oh. by GF18. Here comes the Uber as well, but they've already lost four players. Oh They're gonna lose Rip there though. Oh. So the Uber got forced, and that's another advantage for Phoenix again. Like, and they're gonna even make the cap here. Yeah, Walters already got the intelligence, so they won't be able to cut them off. He's just walking all the way through again, and that's 3 1 for Phoenix already. And there's an uber advantage as well, so they should be able to cap it one more time and then probably just try to go f and hold the middle there. So yeah. we see them main... Oh, they can just even cap it Ooh, for free once again. Shadowburn was close to skates there, didn't manage to actually damage him, but he was right in the mix of those red players. But that last play from Phoenix was like real smart from skates, bringing in the two scouts so he could close the distance quickly and yeah, uh, GZL yeah, well, well played ended up... They gave up the ground, but then tried to, or they overextended. <laughs> oh, Salmon eats the four stickies there, but somehow doesn't oh, die. It was close. And it's popped off. They managed to bully out everybody. There's not even anyone hiding above the flag here. And the Russians are going for the full rotation here. They've sent six all the way to middle, but they have to run through uh, GF18. And who's that soldier there on Banana? Clary goes down. GF18 have just kicked the front door open here. They're on to middle. They've Ubered as well. They've got the flag stalled in middle. Now they've got Skeej. And Salmon trapped behind enemy lines. Salmon's going in deep. He wants that medic frag, but White Glow's going to surf it like a boss. He's hiding underneath there. He knows there's a heavy on the field too. D18 sees him. He smells <laughs> blood in the water. The sharks looking for the medic. <laughs> oh, he gets him! Unbelievable. That's a really nice play there. What the fuck? That's insane. You could just see the look on G18's face. It was like a <laughs> Salmon was screaming at him. The medic's weak. He's on the left, and he was looking. He was looking. He was like hiding in under the boxes, and he just got him with his last few shots. Ridiculous. Yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, Skeet able to bring this home probably. But that's a four, five, two, nothing. GG well played can really do about it. Tommy Skeet is carrying this victory on his back, literally, man. He's just like, give me that <laughs> intel. I'm gonna do this. He wants the glory. He wants to be uh, the most cap medic on the gentleman John's end of season stats articles. There we have one cap for Skeet. Well played. Uh, but not by GG well played. They just lost that around five to two here. If you've just joined us, this is uh, Europe playing Turbine, it's ETFTL Premiership, it's Season 18 powered by TT Esports, this is admirable with Kratos, and we got John on the camera. This is played in a best of three format, but each round is first to five caps, ten minutes. So right now, Phoenix are map point here, if they take the next round, they will win. The Russians really have to get uh, a round on the board here, if they want to get any points at all from this map. It's sort of strange though, Kratos, because uh, there's no golden caps in this map, right? You can't actually split the points, mm. you either... Actually, we you played one you PCW, and for no reason it was like... Um, draw it? Kept it at the same time, literally. <laughs> it was so weird, we played like 5-5. Five, five. So actually, if you draw the map... Um, if you have a draw, then you play a gold cap. It's the first team yeah. to cap. It's strange. But then... That golden cap doesn't actually... Does it lose you any points in the league? Uh, I guess you could just earn the full three points there, though. Uh-oh. On to this next mid, though. The round has started. GDK is playing very aggressively. He's decided to roll up the left-hand side himself. Phoenix are all blocked up. They're all taking a lot of his damage. The scouts are just playing an anti-air roll there. Walters and GF18 uh, focusing down Forsaken. 
And uh, it looks like GG well played are going to lose another medal. White Glue decides to commit to this one though. He is going to go down. G15 on 1 HP runs in and takes out GDK. And uh, Walters didn't get the cap off this time, but uh, they did manage to absolutely wipe the Russians there. The fucking Russians. Yeah, they're going to try to chain cap this. be really quick though, because two spawned already. One's already on the middle point there. Oh, we're just sticking it up now, okay. So they should be able to just push this one more time with the uh, over advantage there. GDK just got spawned, so mm, they shouldn't be able to hold this close either. And Phoenix already going the way into the intelligence room. Uber got popped off there on Salmon. They're trying to single Uber them, just forcing them away. And now they're rotating to middle again. GG well played. Yeah, but they probably could have got that one for free. Like, I'm not sure if they absolutely needed to Uber, but they did. And they have managed to uh, get the into out here, he's gone down, but uh, during that sort of GDK, he just respawned. Skeet on the field, though, he's at an uber disadvantage. <laughs> Look at this, they're trying to go for another one. Uh, looks like it. Is this why he's Kratos? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, they're already backing off. No, no, no. Yeah, they know the score. It was pretty good uh, well played from GG well played, actually, though, because they tried to rotate to the middle and then just realized they lost too many players and then just went back into the into room to not get changed. Oh look at this Uber, they're gonna get at least two oh. frags here. Salmon goes down, Kalari goes down, and uh, Skeej is building furiously with uh, his players rolling around through the respawn. They're gonna get charged in time. If the Russians overcommit here, they might get absolutely smashed, but it, they're trying to come in. Oh, Skeej over here. And rips going We're down there. Oh, for second gets all the intel, but doesn't make it out. The Uber does get popped off, though. You're right, Skeej is pushing through main, but I think it was a defensive Uber, and he's happy just to Keep it 2 0 here. Yeah, we see another Uber advantage now from GG where played, so they sh oh, they're losing what? GDK there, and Phoenix might go for the push there. Like, there's the number advantage, and Rip just spawned, so let's see. Yeah, they're going for the push, they're going for the they That's what they need. Uh oh, Walter's already down. Kalari decides it's time to go in for the bomb here, and Phoenix are throwing players at this Uber disadvantage. Like, they're really trying to take or kill White Glue, but they just lost three for it, and they need bodies up. There's the respawn right now, though. Uh, from Walters, he's gonna snipe, but will he be in position in time to even get a shot on the medic? This will be a miracle shot if he lands it, he doesn't. Oh. Whitelow just gets the charge now, but they managed to cap free. They're gonna be able to chain cap here maybe if they want. What will Phoenix do? Phoenix are faking the rotate, they're not actually gonna rotate, they're gonna go back to the flag room and make sure they don't lose a second cap. But they are uh, now into position here, and GG well played are getting back into this round. They're gonna move forward now. Hopefully they realise that Skeet still has charge, but they're committing a lot of players here. He got him with the single uber, Ski just held it for a few seconds, he's milked it nicely and he's got uh, a player to uber here, Rib if he wants. For seconds in behind he's gonna go down to get his medic out but... Oh, Rib's in deep there, didn't have the heals for a second, he's gone down, so is Ski, GDK with a sticky trap. And uh, Phoenix thought they were in a strong position there, really went for it and got absolutely wiped. <laughs> oh and see the spawns like there was 22 seconds for one of them and that's ridiculous. So the uh, yeah, GG well played will get at least one cap of the Ubers are equally, but yeah, Whip will just spawn in 20 seconds again, so they might be able to push it if they know it. Oh, we see White Glow on crits actually, so they might just wait for the crits even and then just push it with the crits they have. Let's yeah, they're actually a bit close and spamming it, but they won't be able to go through. Phoenix way too defensive there. Ski just uh, made it onto the stairwell. He wants to make sure he's in a skin. He, uh, he's not convinced that they're going to push though. Look at this sniper from GF18 as well. I've heard a few headshots ring out, and that's really killing the buffs on uh, GG Well Played. They know they want to push soon. They're actually falling back. It's like a ruse. They want to bait the combo forward. Ski just taking the bait a little bit. He's close. The Uber the the crits got popped up, and oh. he finds Waters and GF18 rip as well. But the crit machine. Going, the sword is going down as well, and it's 80% for Skeet. He's blocking the intelligence against Riku with a nice <laughs> arrow there. <laughs> it's all in Kalari here, he's whipping the rockets. Reload that black box, bro. Oh, sure. gets it! What a rocket! There we go. Oh, the call outs there. Kalari heard me, and he was like, uh uh, two magic rockets shutting down those last two players and uh, keeping the intel safe there. And right now, White Glow is back on the field, but he hasn't yet started building charge. He's running that normal minigun. There's a few players here on middle for GG Well Play. Play try to uh, pick a fight, but Forsaken will get out. Uh, worth noting, I think he's running the gunboats there. I've seen him doing a few skip jumps. Both soldiers on the Russian side running gunboats, it seems. But uh, right now, Phoenix are already knocking on their door in that flag room, Kratos. 
Yeah, and GG will play it again, trying to rotate to the middle there. And Phoenix will just will just fight them with the Uber, so they can just do it and then just falling back to the intelligence room again. They are only on 60%, so Phoenix should be already pushing this before they get the Uber charge there. Um, they are not really close. It seems like they just want to hold the middle now and just want the uh, Russians to push out pretty much. So, and they really have to. It's four minutes on the clock left. They have to. Uber and they have to push now. Uber versus Uber is gonna be tough. Gonna be yeah. really hard. They're pushing through the banana with a soldier and a scout. Let's see what they can do. There's a lot of spam on them already, so they will probably have to use any second now. Yeah, there we go. Shadowrun is going down on the flank as well. And that's a way better Uber for Phoenix, so GG Replayed has to go back again. And White Claws even going down to Walters. So if Phoenix plays this smart, they should be able to get one more round and then just turtle around and just win this pretty much. Yeah, that was uh, smart from Phoenix there. They really took the attention on, on the banana, like really uh, focused GG well played on their combo and then Clary did well with the black box, taking that frag on Shadowburn, but as well the scouts backing him up did a, a great job of middle to just use the uber distraction. But look at Shadowburn here grabbing the intel, he's going to keep the game alive. And now he's also blocking off GF18, Shadowburn with the intel on the red banana. That does a skip jump around the corner here. Oh, almost gets the middle. Look at this guy go! The six Shadowburn jumps. And he's all over the place. He's like, is this trying some lunch? And this guy is unbelievable. Skip jumping all over the place. He's going to make it back into the flag room here. And uh, he's made this game still a game. There's only one cap in it. It is a match point here. Map point. Map cap for Phoenix. If they get the next one, they will hit that uh, cap limit of five. But uh, wow. Yeah, that, that's a really nice cap, seriously. And that's what they bring them back into the game, and Phoenix actually pushing this with the Uber, so... Oh, let's see, it's 80% for White Glow, and we only have one scout chase. He has to go back as well, so... We see Uber from GG well played again, so they might be able to push this one more time to... make this a draw to 4-4. Four four. Oh. Uber got popped off on middle Is this a mistake? Oh, Ski just gone down. I wondered why GG well played was staying in with two down, but they've... Somehow managed to find the frags. It seems like Phoenix are unsure how to deal with this heavy. And Forsaken's still alive. White Glow's popping off arrows there for Shadowburn, but uh, they've retaken control of middle and they have a significant, well, only 10% over advantage actually after that. They weren't building. That's the, the downside, I guess. Of, uh, oh, Rip is going down. That so that's no demo for them. Uh, yeah, they have two players down, so GG Replay should be pushing this one more time and then just push, we push this again with the Uber advantage. This is uh, something you see a lot on Turbine, you know, where like one team just makes a few mistakes in a row and it really shatters their confidence. Yeah. Like, up until now, Phoenix have been in the driving seat, they've been in control the whole time. And now, uh, just off the back of a few deaths at the wrong time, if you don't have your demo man up or uh, your medic up at the right time, you can just suddenly find yourself losing two or three caps in a row. This map is incredible. Turbine, best map EU. I'm telling you, bros. <laughs> yeah, like even though. I guess Turban, you don't have to push all the way, like, Fennec had to 40% advantage and on every other map you should have pushed this, but on this map, actually, you should have just turned around because you were 4-3, was it, for Fennec? And they just uh -oh. pushed and got popped off really early. Uber's straight at here, and uh, Weigel is pretty low after this Uber face, he may oh, going uh, be a big the risk. Intelligence with the spy place there, so he's bringing the intelligence really close to this He's gone on it! He's yeah, got a got it. going for it! Oh my god, I didn't even see that Oh, Atomic is trying to cut him off. Atomic is on the end. So that's the one we want. Atomic against G18 and G18 oh. wins it. Wow. Everybody who says uh, MGE isn't worth playing as a scout, they <laughs> see the scout one on one just winning the map there. And Phoenix uh, looked shaky for a few seconds there, but Kalari with the big spy plays just stepped up, took control of the situation. I didn't even see it until the flag was on mid, but. Uh, he had the handoff there to GF18, and people always talk about their chemistry, but that one play just saved their bacon there from a third round. GG's are being called here, so that will be 2-1 in this best of three for the first map. I guess we could look at the logs. Yeah, Do you should. have them at hand, Kratos? Uh, someone posted logs, let's see if that's the right link. Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot. I'm testing you. 
But uh, I wonder, how, did the logs work correctly? I haven't actually looked at any true rain logs. Will we see two rains worth of logs? It's actually a different log. I don't know if we should talk about this yet. <laughs> oh, someone else is spamming up a log there. Uh, so, let's see. It's from Epsilon Game with this Lazy Pandas. And I'm oh, not sure. Is this the one I heard, I heard it? I heard it. Oh, it really like... Put this one up on the stream and still talk about this. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense at all. What's going on yeah, here? Yeah, not really. So, let's see. Just gonna look up the other logs. There will be oh, no there. logs. No logs. <laughs> Calling an end to logs. It's actually two logs. I found them. John, did you put that log up on the stream of Epsilon losing to Lazy Pandas, the kings of Turbine? <laughs> he asks, does he have to? Nah, we'll save it for the end of the game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're gonna go to process, but before then... then Kratos, I need you to uh, give me your statistical analysis. What do the logs tell us? Mm, it's kind of equal game though. Like if you look at the kills, it's on the first round it was twenty four to twenty, so only four more kills uh, for Phoenix, and on the other one it was thirty five to thirty four actually for GG well played there. And the damage isn't really telling anything different either. So it was a really really close game compared to the damage and to the kills. So it's actually just being smart and having the right position and doing the right, right decisions. Not that much about death matching and doing damage, actually. Yeah, it turns out that logs and turbine don't mean a fucking thing. Yeah, so uh, I'm uh, throwing out the challenge to Zub there, creator of logs.tf, to make the logs more meaningful. Or Anakin, to make them combine in between rounds. Maybe for a future